Culture Crash's Funniest Moments. Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be reflecting on some of the great memories we've created as a result of our YouTube journey. You will find countless clips from all our past videos here, so there's bound to be something you've never seen before. We hope you enjoy. I just imagine around the 3.30 to 4 minute mark that she's actually rubbing my bare eyeballs. This one is pretty easy, make a sexy donkey. Okay, what is the point of making a sexy donkey? Look, just let me fucking have this! The word art comes from the Latin word ars, meaning skill or craft. My arse is a sk- Your arse is the farthest thing from a work of art. Hello darkness, my old friend. Next time you're in a fast food place, take a look at the parking lot. Its levels of cleanliness, believe it or not, are a great indicator as to how much of a mess the place is behind the scenes where the customers can't see. Two bits of rubbish, they're probably not washing their hands back there. Five bits of rubbish, they're not washing the appliances either. Ten bits of rubbish and a corpse? They're shitting in the goddamn burger meat. I guarantee fucking tea it. I do have free will. That's right. Wait, what was that? Why'd you do that? What'd I do what? I didn't do anything. I agree that we have free will. Fuck. Whoa, hold up, don't be so specific there. Every post has to be relatable to every girl on the planet. You wanna go global, right? Try something along the lines of, sleep well, princess. You're my girlfriend, okay? All of you are perfect. You little bitches are nothing but dollar signs to me. Oh, and don't forget to show the world your terrific sense of humor. <laughs> But I'd have to say the main reason you can't surf in space is that there's, you know, no water. I was kidding. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Good night, Harambe. <laughs> Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, the f what the advertisers and YouTube are doing is completely logical, and we as content creators shouldn't be outraged by it. We are all on the same side here, after all. No, we're fucking not! You asked me before if I have ever had one of those days where nothing goes my way. But I didn't ask you, and I realize now that that was rude of me. Yeah, that's okay, Crash. You're asking now, and that's what matters. I guess my worst day ever was probably... Sorry, man, we're out of time. Gotta go. If you guys have any suggestions for future video topics, leave a comment down below. Later. Dude, hurry up and get to the point. I want to know if I can go without sleep. It'll give me so much more time for my activities. Like my wax sculpting. Yeah, that's right, baby. It's a callback. Sleep is just as important as diet and exercise. So make sure you get the best sleep you possibly can. Because we all know... Oh yes, Wonder Woman, take it all off. Transfiguration by Raphael. Oi, Jesus! What is it, my son? Stop stealing our literature! That kid gave the books to them! Nah, man, he fucking stole them! Give me my book! Jonathan, save it while you can! I'll do my best, Danny! Tell the kids I love them! They're right here, you fucking prick! He's getting away with our literature! Don't give a fuck. <laughs> and the Eon of Isis, the age of the maternal principle for the devotion of Mother Earth. Cool. In that case, I can't wait for the Aeon of Bobby. Who's Babby? The Egyptian god of baboons. <laughs> Personally, I would have picked Aphrodite over Gaia, but hey, to each their own. <laughs> Not that you could get with either of them. Fuck you. Just please get him back to the zoo as soon as possible. I'm going, I'm going, jeez, calm down. Just gotta get my keys. I put them in here for safekeeping. Pretty smart, huh? Ugh, crash. Go to the privacy of your bedroom if you want to watch that filthy smut. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they- Every chance he gets, he grabs this out. Oh, yeah, this is more like it. In fact, I think I can cover this list. Culture, why don't you just sit back and relax? 
But I wrote out a whole list already. Number one, when Steve-O from Jackass put a fish hook through his cheek. Crash. Number two, when Johnny Knoxville from Jackass had to fish that anaconda out of the ball pit. That's not what I... Number three, when Ryan Dunn from Jackass stuck a car up his... Large groups of people succumb to the idea that their genitals are retracting into their body and will disappear despite there being no medical evidence to support their claims. I have that condition as well, but in reverse! <laughs> <laughs> YouTuber nudes have just been leaked online, and the community is going mental! These nudes belong to one of the fastest growing channels on the website, and despite YouTube's rules and regulations, I am going to show the uncensored picture here in 3, 2, 1... Great A under A has never looked so beautiful. Take a second to pause the video and try to figure it out yourself. Oh, sick. The video's paused. I can go get myself a snack. You want anything, buddy? They're still gonna hear that, you know. Watch that. For those who don't know, vegans abstain from not only meat, but all animal products. This means no milk, no eggs, no cheese, no leather, no fur, no honey, no chocolate, no beer, no rotting human carcasses that should have been buried weeks ago, but the accomplished simply never returned to hell. And now you dread the worst possible outcome, which involves prison, a huge black man, and a whole lot of soap. And most shockingly, no gummy bears. Like a zombie emerging from the ground? Fuck that! If I saw that after an avalanche, I'd stomp on the hand like, GET THE FUCK BACK DOWN THERE, BITCH! NO ZOMBIES ARE GONNA GET THEIR HAND ON MY BRAIN! Yeah, I, uh, wouldn't worry about them coming after your brain. It's probably not worth the effort. Hey, Marco! Show the viewers at home what our videos would look like without your exceptional work! We are never doing this shit again. Hey, any day is the right day for fighting oppression. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Crash! In fact, just thinking about it fills me with this great warmth. It makes my head go light and my limbs go n numb. Culture, I, I- It's okay, Crash. I know it's hard for us to show it, but at the end of the day, when the chips are down, we really do care about each other. I couldn't imagine hosting this show with anyone else, so for that I just want to say what you can't bring yourself to say, which is... What the fuck are you talking about? I was going to say I needed to take me to the emergency room ASAP! This eggnog was a bad idea! They'll stand as close to the door as possible with nearly their whole body pressed up against it. Then they'll put their finger on the button and sort of run it around the surface, learning each and every detail. Or maybe like they're holding their finger up to someone's lips, like... Shh, don't worry, don't worry. Daddy's gonna take care of you. And it's an oddly sensual act, but at least they end up pressing the button at the station. I suppose the foreplay could only last so long. After this battle, Ra is birthed by Nut back into the world. The cycle in this way also represents death and resurrection. This is some seriously fucked up stuff, culture! What is wrong with you? Look, all I really want to know is what should I make a solid gold statue of so that people can remember and admire me? My name? My brain? My, uh, <laughs> Schlong? I'd say you're, uh, Schlong. Wow, really? I'm surprised to hear you say that. Well, it'd be the cheapest to produce since it requires so little material. No way! <clears throat> hey man, here. Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? Shh, you know exactly what it's for. How the fuck did you get in my house? Do it. What are you- Do it! Culture! Don't bother calling out to him. He's not with us anymore. You've crossed the line! I'm gonna whip it out! Right here! Right in front of you! Right near your face! Ah! Crap, gotta bounce. Bye! I swear, if you cut me off one more time, I'll show everybody the- <laughs> Alright, that does it. Everyone feast your eyes on this. Fuck this! Fuck you, culture! This is the end! Now that sounds like something you would have said back then. Why, cruel world? Why must I live on in this orange hell hole? You also gave him a playful smack. Time for the morning too much! Does anyone smell that? It smells like my roast is just about done. Let's take a look. Can I put the costume back on? No. 
I can't stand that thing. I should be free to express myself openly on this show. This, this is oppression. This is censorship. Culture, you should be ostracized and penalized and circumcised. Fine, fine, just put the stupid thing on then. Happy? So I began to stress about making unnecessary splashing noises again. Could I manage to keep this one quiet too? It's almost there. Squeeze! Thankfully, I could tell that this too would be a successful drop like the previous one. Everything was aligned perfectly. I began to relax again, ready to let gravity do the rest of the work. It felt as though a weight had been lifted from my body as it fell from grace and got some impressive airtime if I do say so myself. But then, it hit the water full speed, hurling my own urine into my booty! And I did my best to remain quiet, but the shock was just far too intense for any restraint! Ah! So, we have cue cards with our lines on them to guide the episode, and my one now says, Fascinating, but how does this explain the wonders of reflection and refraction? Now, I may not be a geek. Hell, I don't even care about light, but I assure you that no one, I repeat, no one has ever or would ever say that. Glad you asked, Crash. God damn it. Crash was so scared that he didn't realize culture was in the room until he pressed his lips to his. What the fuck? They're razor sharp eye gougers. They're slender, wrinkled shanks which move with unnerving haste. They're sadistically lifeless, homicidal gaze. And don't even get me started on their sharp edged intestine shovels. Plus, what the fuck is this? Why haven't you interrupted me yet? Well, there you have it. All our funniest moments up until this point in time. What did you think about this little trip down memory lane, Crash? I genuinely thought I was comedy gold, but this has proved otherwise. You thought you were the funny one? Come on, I bet. At least I don't make video compilations when I run out of ideas. Oh, Culture Crash!